What's up guys? Welcome to your 33rd lesson in CSS for Beginners. And in this lesson we're going to take what we've learnt so far to do with font styling and we're going to style up some links. That's coming up. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we need to do is pop a link tag in this document and we're just going to do it underneath this header div. So remember to do that, it's just an anchor tag and then we'll give it any old H reference for now, it doesn't really matter. And uh, this is a link, can be the text and then we'll close that off. Oops, brackets did it for me, we don't need it twice. And we'll save that. And in fact, what we're going to do is just copy that and paste it a couple of times. So we've got a few links now. All right then, so let's target these links. All we need to do is do a simple A selector. And we're gonna use some of the properties we've learned already in previous videos. But before we do that, I wanna show you what these links currently look like using the default browser styles. So I'm gonna get this open up in a browser. And there they are, three links, and they're all blue and underlined. So, you know, it's pretty obvious to me and probably you that these are all links. That's the aim, people know that they should click on them now. So we're going to apply some of our own styling because we might have a website where the blue underlined links don't fit in and we want to do something different with them. So the first thing we're going to do is add a color property and we're just going to choose a groovy color from one of these. Let's have a look. Which one do I like? Burley wood. I wonder what that is. Crimson. I quite like that. All right. So we'll give that a crimson color. What should we do next? I'll tell you what I'm going to do is take off the text decoration of underline don't really like that. A bit too predictable. So I'm going to give this a non-value. And then we'll give it a font weight of bold. Now, because it's not underlined, maybe people won't understand that it's meant to be clicked and they might just assume I'm trying to make this word stand out for some reason. But I think the fact that it says this is a link kind of gives it away. So we can get away with it in this case. So we've done our A styles here. Let's just view it in a browser, see what it's looking like. Cool, so now they are all this crimson color. There's no underline. And due to the fact that it says this is a link, it's pretty obvious it's a link. So that's cool. Now, what we normally do when we do a style for a link is give it a hover effect as well. So that when someone hovers over it, they know it's a link or they know the hovering over that link and it just looks cool anyway doesn't it so let's do the hover pseudo class and remember we do our pseudo classes by specifying it's a pseudo class with the uh, colon and then we just write the hover keyword and then we're going to give it a color let's look for another cool color here uh, what have we got let's go for dark magenta that looks pretty cool and then we're going to give it a text decoration of underline. And you know what? I'm going to give it a background color. I know we've not technically done background color yet, but let's give it one anyway. Let's go with this aquamarine. This is just going to look absolutely awesome, guys. If you need links designing, you know where to come. <laughs> uh, let's get this open up in a browser. All right, so they're all crimson, underli uh, no underlining, yeah? Bam, that is pretty awesome. It looks like a website I made when I first learned CSS. <laughs> uh, it's not really awesome, it's terrible. But you get the point, you know, you can add all of these properties and where's our syntax gone? You can get some pretty cool looking links or buttons and we're gonna cover a little bit more to do with buttons later on, you know, things like padding and margin. But for now, that should get you started with making some cool links of your own. If you have any comments or questions, leave those below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed these videos, please like them, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.